Hi, Praise Family. Happy Sabbath. This is Tamara Richards bringing to you Friday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. And this evening, I was inspired to share with you from Exodus 14, the very common story about the children of Israel and their passing through the Red Sea. And our little chat is entitled, Stand Still. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we're grateful that you know us, you know everything about us, you know our circumstances, you know our situations, you know the struggles that we have, you know what we need at any point in time. And so we thank you for being our Father and our friend, the one who cares so much about us and who wants to reassure us this evening that you have our backs and you are with us always. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Thank you for who you are, for your great benevolence toward us. Be with us now as we share from your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to be very clear and read to you some excerpts from uh, Exodus 14. And I'll just read and then I'll share my takeaways from this passage of scripture. And we'll read starting at verse 5. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this, that we have let Israel go from serving us? And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. And he took 600 chosen chariots and all the chariots of Egypt and captains over every one of them. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued, and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them, but the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. 
And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. So I've just read for you the great experience of the Israelites as they were fleeing Egypt. They had been in bondage in Egypt for a very long time, and it was time for the bondage to be over. They, they found themselves, though, caught between the wilderness and the vast Red Sea with the Egyptians pursuing them, the mighty Egyptian army. Pharaoh, as head of the army, was pursuing them with all the chariots of Egypt. They knew not what to do. They cried unto Moses, and Moses cried unto God. Moses, though, his faith was so great that before he even cried unto God, he said, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. And God said to Moses, Stretch forth thy rod. Sometimes stand still, standing still, means that we have to obey, we have to do that thing that seems ridiculous. What, what will stretching out a rod do when the, 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 the Israelites are powerless and the mighty armies of, of, of Egypt are chasing them? Moses could have questioned, but Moses obeyed. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Of course, that army was powerful. The people had reason to, to be fearful. They had reason to fear. That was a very powerful army. But in the presence of God, in the presence of the mighty power of God, there is no reason to fear, my brothers and sisters, because God has said to us, stand still and seize the salvation. And what that salvation means is that that powerful enemy, that is chasing you, will be overcome. Moses said unto the people, this is the last day you will see these Egyptians forever. They will be blotted out. They will no longer be a pest unto you. You shall not return to bondage. I want you to believe this tonight, my friends. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, even when you are, you are facing the, the, the great armies behind that are coming against you with all the powerful weapons and there's nothing that you have in your hands. And when they're coming against you, nowhere to turn because the thickets are ripe. They're ripe unto death. And the sea is right there. Stand still. God can make the great sea walls on the right and walls on the left so that you can walk through on dry land. Metaphorically speaking, God can make wonderful things happen on your behalf. God will provide for you that way of escape, that way of escape, and stand still and see his salvation. Fear not, my friends, God has heard your cry. Even when your cry is a complaining cry, God has heard your cry because there's someone standing in the gap for you. And there's always someone standing in the gap for us, and that is Jesus Christ. He has heard our cry, and we can stand still and see the salvation. We will be delivered from the hands of the strong army if we put our trust, not in chariots, not in horses, but remembering the name of the Lord our God. So, like I said, I was impressed to share. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Deliverance is a coming. It's coming fast and swift and in ways that you cannot begin to imagine because deliverance comes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for having joined me for Friday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Dear God, our faith is weak and weary. We are a complaining set of stiff-necked people 
who fail to stand still and see your salvation, but you are a merciful God, and you put someone greater than we are to stand in the gap for us so that we can receive salvation. We thank you, God, and we claim that deliverance, whatever it is, in your mighty Son's name. He will go before us, Lord, and therefore we shall stand still. Bless us this night and may this Sabbath day be a blessing. May we be refreshed and may our spiritual feet be girded about. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful Sabbath, friends. Thank you for joining me, Alien. Blessings. Take care. See you again on Tuesday for Tuesday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. Blessings. Stand still, friends. See God's salvation.